Hello and welcome back to Legacy Networking's 25 Days of Networking Tips. My name is Sarah, I'm the founder of Legacy Networking and I'm here to bring you our day five topic which is going to be about all the video calls you're going to have this Christmas. We're going to talk about the best way to make sure that you have a good video call making sure that you bring festive cheer to your video calls and understanding the etiquette of having those calls with people and how to act on those calls so that you're not in a position that we've seen many times before where people think they're on mute but they're not people think they're on video and they do something embarrassing so let's make sure that this christmas when you're facetiming with grandma or you're having a skype with your friends there's no faux pause and you have as much good lighting as possible let's get started well, firstly i want to talk about my christmas hat and my Santa hat, I should say. I think that when you are having Zoom calls or even like conference calls at work, um, it's important to bring some festive cheer and it's such a beautiful and simple icebreaker. Show up on a call with a fun hat and you get everybody talking immediately. Um, you're a part of the conversation. People are probably wondering, oh, that person's pretty fun. Who are they? Maybe you haven't connected with them. If you're on, um, family calls, work calls, catch up calls, loads of calls that we're going to be on over the, you know, foreseeable future, then bring some festive cheer. I have this and another uh, festive hat that I will show you a little bit later. And I just think it's a great way to break the ice and to make yourself feel a little bit better about the fact that we're all sitting in front of computer screens trying to connect with each other over Christmas. So that's one of the first things I'm going to say about, you know, taking all of these calls and trying to connect virtually is bring the fun, have props, wear hats, do fun things that are Christmassy and make people smile. I am going to give you a couple more tips on how to make sure your video calls go well this year. Um, I think one of the, the main things is, you know, bringing Christmas cheer, breaking the ice. And I said earlier about my Santa hat, I also have my reindeer ears, which are amazing. And I just feel like this type of thing is such a conversation starter. But back to the plot, one of the few things that people think about when they jump onto a video call um, is the etiquette of having video calls. There is an etiquette and I think we should just go through a few key points. I'm sure most of us know these things, but we seem to be struggling or at least the people I talk to seem to. Um, so let's just remind ourselves of a few key things we should be doing when we are video calling. Number one, one thing that I can't stand is try not to talk over people when you are on these calls. Even if it's, you know, friends and family, once you are talking and another person is talking on a video feed, it basically just cancels it out and nobody can hear what either of you has just said. It's not like when we're in a room and somebody can maybe catch half of the back half of your conversation while you're talking to someone else. Um, please just try and wait until that person is done talking and finish literally the, there is a you know a split second after someone's finished talking that you then have to interject make sure that you are off mute ahead of time so that you can just go ahead and interject um, but try not to talk over someone try not to sort of you know overpower them because it doesn't really work on these calls the other thing that happens a lot is people just talk and they're on mute um, and then you just hear their mouth, you see their mouth moving and you can't hear anything. And then it takes them ages to unmute. It's so annoying. Make sure you know where the mute button is. Familiarize yourself with the platform that you're using, whether it is Zoom or Teams or Skype. Just try and know where that is so that you don't have this constant back and forth of you're on mute, you're on mute. It just, to be honest, it makes people seem like they aren't competent and I hate to say that, but it's true. If you can't m unmute yourself properly, it's a little bit, I mean, people give you the benefit of the doubt the first couple of times, but just try and find the mute button and be prepared to push it. Another thing to be aware of is if you're on video and you're doing a video call and you're talking to friends and family, they can see when you just get up and walk away. And it's really, 
it's really awkward. I don't know why, but I feel like there's so many people that get on video calls and just get up and, and walk away or just, you know, turn turn their can turn their their head and start looking at something else or start like pick up their phone and start looking at it. The, it's just bad manners. Um, if you are on a call with someone face to face, like it's basically like being in person with them. I wouldn't just get up in the middle of your sentence and walk away. So if you're on video, don't do that. Obviously, if you're not on video, um, I've done it before where I've walked away and I've been just on an audio call and they've said something to me and then I've had to scream across the room. So be careful about walking away from any call that you're on. Um, but this Christmas when we're trying to connect with people, it's important to stay there and to be engaged. And I just don't understand why you would walk away. So that's definitely something to remember. If you need to excuse yourself, just do so and let them know you're gonna be right back. And lastly, I just think it's really important to make sure that you have as good a lighting as possible. Um, I think it's really frustrating sometimes when you, you know, you're know you taking the time to video conference someone and they've got a window behind them that's making them just look like a silhouette. Um, make sure that the light is facing you so that you have the illumination on your expression and people wanna see your face. Um, so just make sure that you have that lighting um, and, you, and you're able to illuminate yourself. Well, that brings us to the end of our video call video. So this year we're going to be on video calls with our friends, our families, our colleagues, our clients, our, our partners, our contacts. We need to be sure that we're showing up to those calls on time. We're engaged, we're dressed nicely, we've got some good lighting, we've got some Christmas cheer, we're not talking over other people. We know how to unmute ourselves. Treat all of the calls that we're gonna have this year as if we were going to be doing this stuff in person because let's not give up on, you know, making an effort for one another and let's not give up on being together and connecting, even if it's virtually. So I really hope that you schedule calls with people you haven't spoken to in a long time. I hope that you enjoy the calls that you have to be on for work or otherwise. And I hope that you really cherish the calls that you have with your family and people that you might not be able to be close to this year. And I hope that you feel like you're gonna be more prepared, ready to start conversations and break the ice and have some good tips about the ways that you can make the most out of those calls. So let me know if you have any comments. Please let me know if you like this by liking or subscribing the videos. I will be back with my remainder of the December month videos and I am looking forward to seeing you next time. Mwah.